Hi, I'm Erin Davey, and today I'm bringing to you an episode of COSA Connectors. Here at COSA Connectors, we share some awesome digital tools that you can use to make art and express yourself. And the cool thing is, they're free, so you can get started today right after this video. I hope that this brightens up your day, so let's go! Today, I'm featuring the web-based tool Cables. The child of the Berlin creative studio Undev, Cables allows you to create stunning interactive works without writing a single line of code. With the help of a streamlined interface, operators represented as blocks that you can drag, drop, and connect to via virtual cables, as well as real-time visuals, anyone with an internet connection can head to cables.geo and forge mesmerizing visuals. I've actually never heard of Cables until about a few weeks ago, and I'm very impressed by its ease of use and depth and functionality. A novice would appreciate its simplicity, and an expert will really adore its flexibility. There are visual representations for operator inputs and outputs that are on top and bottom of operator blocks, and you can control the flow of data by dragging an operator's output to another's input. Operators are color-coded by their type, and compatible inputs will always be the same color, so you don't have to worry about seeing pesky type mismatch errors here. There's a wide array of 3D models, textures, and materials to choose from, but the possibilities are endless when you can create and import your own. Not only can you import 3D models and animations, you can also whip up your own shaders in the editor. Want to edit an existing operator to your liking? No worries! The code is available for you to view, copy to a custom operator, and edit to your liking. For all the live coders out there, Cables also supports MIDI and OSC. I personally haven't tried out all the features that Cables has to offer, and the tool is still in beta at the time of writing, but I'm sure that no matter what you do with the tool, it looked pretty awesome. To get started, make an account on their website cables.gl, hover over Create, and pick a template. You can jump right into the action here, but I suggest that you check out the documentation. There's a helpful written guide that shows you the ropes of the online editor, as well as links to video tutorials. The documentation is rather extensive, and most of the basic ops have examples to go along with them, so you can see them in practice. Got a little bit of art block? You can check out what other users have done in their online user gallery. There's a lot of beautiful examples there, and you can view and modify it in their editor. After doing research and playing around with cables, I recommend this to beginners and experts alike. Cables is so much fun to use, and it's easy to understand. Personally, I'm hooked, and I'm putting it in my new Media Arts toolbox. If you're a new Media Arts educator, I recommend introducing this tool to your students, especially for classes that are entry-level or have some students that aren't really proficient in programming. The simple interface caters to students that usually struggle, and Cable's ability to handle custom shaders and operations will pique the interest of technologically advanced students. Alright, that's all I have for you today. Again, I'm Aaron Davey, and you can catch me on Twitter at AAH underscore DEE underscore, or you can catch my creative coding streams on Twitch at Cozy Coding. I hope you have a good day today, and I'll see you next time.